just made ourselves a beautiful door. Now here's an interesting task where I have to actually make a door. This door uh, goes to a little storeroom underneath the house. It's covered by a deck above. So looks aren't a high concern, but they want something that looks decent. This is 28 inches wide and it's 61 inches tall. So you're not gonna find a door that size. So what I'm gonna do is make a door. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm gonna use these redwood two by sixes and I'm gonna make styles and rails and then I'm gonna make a plywood insert. And that's not how I would make a front door or a bedroom door, but they're fine with that. There are cost considerations and style considerations. Since my height is 61, I wanna subtract 3 8 so I wanna cut my style to 60 and 5 8 which is what I've done. And you can see I've got about a quarter inch gap. So if I raise it up about an eighth inch, then I've got an eighth inch on the top. Since this is 28 inches, I've got this two by six on each end. So I have to account for each one of these. Since these are five and a half inches, that's 11 inches. So 28 minus 11 is 17 inches. So I want to go 17 inches minus three eighths of an inch. Therefore, I'm gonna cut these at 16 and 5 eighths. Now I've got my rails and styles cut. What I wanna do is cut a rabbit here. So I'm gonna cut this a half inch this way and two inches this way. There's gonna be a cutout, a channel all the way around and I'm gonna be able to set my plywood in that once I attach my rails and styles. I'll set the table saw for a half inch deep and two inches wide and I'll run these through and that'll cut these out. So I wanna do all of those first. Now once you've cut these, you're left with this shape, you can see there's an issue that arises when you join them. The door's gonna go together like this. So we're gonna have this big empty gap here on top. Looks aren't that important with this, but you can still make it look good. Here's a simple trick I use. I just use the scraps and cut a filler piece. I will just glue and nail in. There. Okay, now I've got all my pieces cut and I've got them laid out here. And what I need to do is drill a hole to get a six inch screw in here. The first thing I have to do is drill this out with my one inch spade bit so that the head can get all the way down there. This had to go this deep. Then, I have to use this quarter inch bit because I got to get the drill through there. So I made a little mark on the bit right there. So that would take it down to there. So that basically drills through this whole two by six. And it's important to get these lined up straight because you don't want them poking through the side. And I could feel the wood squeeze together just then. I could probably just do one, but I'm going to do two screws for each corner and then I can cut my plywood. Now with all those screws put together, you can see we've got a really sturdy door. Okay, so I've got my door hung, got my hinges on, and the door works just fine, nice and sturdy. And I've got an ideal gap up here. It's a little big right here. You know, if this was a front door, I would redo this. But I do have a, a real nice gap here. Nice and even, just over an eighth of an inch, which is perfect. I've just measured this right here and cut my piece of paneling. I'm using this uh, exterior siding. So this is rated for exterior. And so I just cut that to fit in there. And you can see, I can just pop it in there. So now I just need to screw this in. And I do have the option of, I can cut some redwood molding to put over these gaps. That's why this doesn't have to fit perfectly because it's the inside of a shed. They may not care. So before I screw this thing in, I just put these little spacers down here because I don't want the plywood, I don't want the paneling pushing up against any of the wood. And I'm using these inch and a quarter uh, pan head screws. Okay, so let me show you how I fill these holes in. I buy one inch dowel because I know I'm using a one inch spade bit. So I just stick the dowel in there, make a mark, take that out and cut it. Now with that dowel cut, just cover it with some wood glue, just glop it on there, stick it in. That's it. 
can wipe that off with a wet rag. I'll do that for both of them. There it is. Now those are sealed up, they're not gonna rot, and they look pretty nice. And once that's all painted up, they're set. That's it. That's how you make a door. Down and dirty, quick and easy, looks great. Feels great, gonna last a long time. Just made ourselves a beautiful door. That's how you do it.